up guys, Psycho20 here, and I am back with part three of the Let's Play. Let's Play. Alright. What do we got here? Let's click OK. Picking up right off where I uh, had left it. I heard uh, what happened. I hope everything is good. My uncle trusts you now. You should call him. Let's call this guy. Contact messages? Nope. Contacts. Contacts. Tran. I need a sports car. Did you guys hear this? Alright. I need to pick up a car with a certain amount of specs. I'm looking for a spark, maybe check around Club Bam Bam. You got it, bro. I need a car. Come on. Hello. Please. Please hit me. Please, I'm just, I'm just a lonely wolf. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need this car. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need the car. I'm, I'm taking the car. I'm gone. Let's go. Do you guys like the Deftones? Maybe Sagittarius FM Queen Dragon Attack? Huh? Maybe a little China Tuna Step Yo Game Up? I hope this is enjoyable. I can't hear it. I'm sure it's quite catchy, uh, it's got a good beat. A lot of these radio stations have amazing, really good beats. That's for sure. That's a, that's a fact. Whoa, bro! American here. Watch yourself. You know, it's like, learn who to respect, the American guy. Damn it! Nice. Aha. Uh -huh. Chicken! Oh! No. Nice. Find the marked spark. This guy. Oh man, this car is fast as hell. We're about coming up to this, the part where uh, we didn't get to play anymore. We were with the dogs the other day. Mainly because. Oh man, do I have a story for you guys? Do I have a story for you guys? So we were sleeping, and uh, Max, the you guys saw Max in the doggy video. He uh, he's our big one. Uh, also the youngest one. He loves to play all the time, non-stop, no matter what. And by doing that, he actually woke us up the night before at like 3. And oh, I have to get in the vehicle. I, I didn't have to crash it, I just had to get in it. Anyway, so he, we were like, alright, so we'll walk him up and lock him up in his cage. You know, it was like 3 in the morning, and we literally had maybe... Aw, oh, damn, I really smashed the shit out of it and really lowered my price on it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. That was my fault. Oh, well. Um, so we figured we'd lock him up and that would help us, you know, get a little bit more sleep because we were really lacking in sleep. Well, I assist you not, at 3 in the morning, you start barking and barking. And normally, you know, if a squirrel, if a squirrel farts outside, he'll bark at it. You know, he, he hears that little squirrel fart and, uh, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll just go crazy. Well, anyway, Crazy Gabrichick got up and she went over to go see what he was barking about. Well, there ended up being a snake that was coiled up. Um, and like all, you know, they're like, they're standing up, like about to strike out underneath the chair. Pretty good sized snake. I, I've never seen that kind of snake around here. And I was like, oh my God. So she's like, there's something green or something under the chair. And I was like, oh boy. So I got, I mean, it's like three in the morning guys. So I got up and then we fought with this snake to get it into a trash bag and got it outside. We were like an, 10 minutes away from killing the thing, but we were able to get it outside. We didn't really want to kill it, but, uh. Uh, I don't know. We, we, were, we were really close to killing that snake, guys. It's like you wake up and there's a damn snake in your face. And he's like coiled up and he kept striking me out of broom and he kept like lunging at it and lunging back to bite the damn thing. Oh man, did that ever, did that ever scare us. Uh, that, it definitely, it's a good way to wake up. Reminded me of boot camp. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You wake up and there's some scary shit in your face. <laughs> By the way, someone said they wanted to hear a bunch of uh, stories. We have a lot of stories, guys. We do. I probably won't give the stories on this on this type of game because there's so much dialogue and so much to do and think about. Probably what I'll do is I'll jack this car right here and I'll crash it because it's super effing fast. And these guys look like they're big and tough. So anyway, um, what I'm thinking is I'll do Modern Warfare 3 gameplays. Uh, the only problem with that is like they're really funny stories. But people don't watch Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare 3 videos, really, they watch the Minecraft videos. 
maybe I'll do it in a Let's Play. Maybe we'll give stories off in Let's Plays and Modern Warfare 3s. And maybe I'll give the best stories in Modern Warfare 3 because I know like our main subscribers are the ones that have watched the Modern Warfare 3 videos. So that's what I do. Because you guys are awesome. Really appreciate all the support, guys. We do love you. We do love you. Watch it. Meep. Meep. All right. <laughs> PQ. Anyway, guys, we do really do appreciate all the support. We love you. We'll perk. Uh, I'm gonna finish the shirts here uh, within this week, and I'm gonna have them up on the site or up on our YouTube. Uh, we're hoping to do it in person and not have it be on a website that you do it from, so you guys can just let us know what kind of shirt you would want out of our selection, uh, which obviously we would show it to you guys, uh, and then we can go from there instead of going to a website where it's gonna cost you like 30 bucks because we'd only make like two bucks from it. You know what I mean? So we're hoping we can make them like 10, 15 bucks. Um, and then really all it would be was like just shipping, so we would make them, you know. It would, I think it would just be better. It would be cheaper and it would be easier for you guys, because there's really no point buying a $40 shirt. Set, you know what I mean? Unless it was like super sick, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to design some super awesome shirts. So even if you hate our channel, you'll love the shirt. Yeah. That's what's up, guys. That's what's up. I'm going to leave you with a little bit of dialogue here in a moment, because this that's ours. That car is awesome. we got to go help the cop. Cops need help, too. Although I don't feel like I'm, I'm caught, I feel more like I'm just a criminal. But I think that's the point. I think that's the double life. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing here? You walk a very fine line. Oh, sorry guys, I'll be quiet. Let me know if you want to hear the dialogue or not next time. Look, I'm sorry about how I acted. In there. You know, just playing the part. I'm already out there on the streets. I hear things like this ketamine racket. I'll see what I can dig up. How's that for an olive branch? Serious? Just like that? Look, I'll help where I can. What? I'm just a little shocked. I'm just used to Pinterest people being more like him. I just think we'd be better off helping each other. Come on, what do you say? I could really use the help if you're... Sorry about the you. mic. Well, all right. Everything should be cool. Market noodle shop. Did you look at the open? Alright, bro. Yeah, but that's not the when oh, I can do that. Alright. I was like, damn, dude, close your damn phone. Let's go. I do like the fighting system. I think it's definitely better than uh Oh dude. I go light some incense and put it back in the little shrine here. Very respectable. Look at this guy. Is that not awkward as shit? And dude, by the way, these cigarettes are huge. Let me show you how big the cigarette is in this game. Hold on, bro. Take a puff. You need your nicotine. That's a big effing cigarette. Huge. It's like a damn giant Crayola crayon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> damn. Alright. Let's get out of here. I hit a little blue thing. Let's go! This radio station sounds kind of annoying. I can kind of hear it. The love I want. Too bad they don't have what is love. What is love? Baby, to hurt me. To hurt me. No more. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I like that Pepsi commercial where they're all bobbing their head. It's pretty with you. Thank you. Used to be the big one in the movie theaters. Yeah! No! Okay, good. This car seems pretty awesome. I'm liking this car. Oh! 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 Oh, damn it! Oh, boy. Do you guys know you can text and drive in this game? Dangerous messages. Uh, meet me at the noodle shop in the market. Let me show you what happens when you text and drive. That's one thing. Uh, what else do we got? Oh! What else do we got? Texting it. Oh! And driving. Oh, good. It flips sideways. I was going to say, if I can't see the whole phone. Let's go to redefi- Oh! Sorry, let me get on the right side of the road here. What? Oh, here we go. Winston Chu. My main- Oh! Point of contact is Winston- Oh! And Sun Yi Redpole, who controls or likes to think- He control- Oh, damn it! Come on! Oh, no! Not the tree! Ah! ah damn it, I'm just reading my messages! <laughs> ah! Anyway, back to what I was saying. North, as my previous reports have shown, Chu's control is slipping- Uh to a competing Sun Yi Red Pole, uh, Sam Dogeyes Lin. 
She was a hothead, impulsive, and not too smart. He lacks any kind of formal education and at times cannot even master street level criminal conspiracies. Ha! Huh, what the hell, boss? Watch your park. His temper may be affected by anabolic steroids, which I believe he takes on a regular basis. <laughs> Choose an ideal as a point of access to the triads. He's ambitious without the brains to achieve his goals and badly needs a, uh, a smart second in command. This is how I positioned myself. My quick rise was created, uh, has created jealousy within the Water Street Gang. I'm now convinced that uh, suspicions about my true identity are related to this jealousy more than to actual hard evidence. Still, I must be careful in HQ, must uh, keep confidentiality tight at all times. Whew! Damn! Look at my car! Texting and driving. Alright, let's go. <laughs> It's funny because I wasn't even looking at the map and I ended up here right next to the damn thing That deserves some likes for that one guys I literally was not even paying attention to where I was going I was literally just reading the thing and if I saw the road turn out of the corner of my eye I would sort of turn the car That is some awesome shit Awesome shit That's funny as hell Oh this is where I'm going This little hidden alley here Move bro Yeah Yeah what you got What you want yeah. What's that mean? How's your connect? You getting everything you need? No, man. I haven't been back to Bobstar since I left Dog Eyes. I'm not sure how he's gonna take it. Want me to talk to him? Yeah. I'm just about out. So grab my next shipment and make sure everything is cool. Huh. Ha ha ha. Let's go. Here I come, buddy. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Sorry, guys. I got a little confused. My bad. It's cute. It's cute. Oh, damn it. Ah, where am I supposed to go? I'm very confused. I'm supposed to go this way. Damn it. Where's my car? Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just an American. Oh, I'm just an American. He must be American, too. What's up, buddy? He's American. See, he knows what's up. He's like, man, this guy's from America. Ah, <laughs> uh, too funny. Oh. And right here. Good. I think this is a parking spot. In America, it would be. All right, what we got here? What do we got here? Hey, what do you want, bro? Pop star, huh? Dude, she's got like sweat stains and ew, gross. Y'all gonna play basketball, or are you just gonna stand here like a bunch of like a bunch of actually white boys? Cause we don't play all that much basketball. No, this is us. We hang around the basketball court, but we don't play it. I like that. Go us. Dirty Ming's operating in our territory. I want to make sure he's supplied. Sure, I'll fix him up, but... But what? I gotta get paid in advance. I'll make it easy for you. A couple of deadbeat junkies owe me money. Guys used to deal for me before they became their own best customer. No. Uh -oh. Collect what they owe me, and I'll hook your man up. Alright, let's go beat up some, uh, some junkies, get some money, and come on back. Alright, you're number one. So you, are, my friend, are going right in here. Right in the balls. And yeah. Okay, and then you're next. Okay. Well, it sucks I had to kill two innocent people. But uh, apparently, that's what you gotta do. That would suck if in real life, every time you killed someone, you only lost 15 points because then people would kill everybody every time. You know what I'm saying? Bro. I got 20 points in my last mission. I can kill this guy for 15 less points. I, I'm still 5 plus. I'm doing it. <laughs> 400 bucks. All right. Who's that? Feng Shen. Best shit in Hong Kong. You got my money? Got your money. Here's your package. Tell Ming to stick with girls over 14 this time. <laughs> it's the cops. Uh oh. Hey, you two. Come over here. Oh shit! What the hell is this? 
Haha! <laughs> Dude, y'all ain't gonna catch me, man. I'm gonna jack this car. It's not my car. Damn it! Get in the effing car, bro! We gotta go! We got to go! Let's get out of here! Damn it! Ah! Boy, I sound like a criminal in a past life, huh? Must have been a criminal or something. <laughs> we gotta go! We gotta get the hell out of here, Jack the car! And we are free. Oh, I gotta call. No, I gotta call somebody. Once again, it's getting dangerous, guys. Contacts. Tang. Oh! Find out where he hangs out, and I'll see if I can get something off. I'll get back to you. Damn it! Damn it, damn it. Wanna play chicken, bro? Wanna play chicken? Oh! Oh, shit! Ah, oh, damn! <laughs> that guy scared me. Intense. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. And hope you're enjoying the series. Let me know if you wanna see more. I'll probably keep doing it. It's a fun game. Thanks for watching, guys. Woo-hoo! Zygo20 out. Peace.